Perseverance is not a long race. It's many short races, one after the other. Walter Elliott, my friends, every day our short race, 10 to 15 minutes covering your favorite stocks, ETFs. Start with us. Review these markets every day. Everything we do here is for free. All the basic stuff, which is what, which is what you need to get started. And when you start getting serious about this and want even more, we have it for you. Become a Patreon member and support us. 20 weekly vertical crossovers every week. Our charting crypto review, our once a month live question and answer format session, all that. So let's jump into these charts right now. Also, make sure that you're signed up at chartingwealth.com to receive our daily email. In that, you receive our training that we do, that we send out every day, in addition to the video of this review that we do for you four times a week and then the weekly review and forecast on Fridays. And of course, you get the PDFs to the daily market, weekly market, and trade worksheets. We see stocks are mixed. They were down heavily during the day, recovered a little bit there at the end of the day. Bonds and gold up some and Bitcoin down. Just keeps going down, doesn't it? Uh, so let's jump into these charts. We look at the weekly chart on the S&P 500 down 0.12%. So not much, but starting the week off with a big red down candle price percent oscillator pulling away from the red signal line. Derivative oscillator heading down. Now we go from there to the two-day will allow it to pull up for us. And of course, we want to make sure that two-day is in the right place. And where's our, we're going in the wrong direction there. Let's fix that. There we go. Don't know how that happened. But we had that two-day recross, as you guys know, on Friday. And of course, price percent oscillator pulling away from the red signal line. Derivative oscillator has gone negative. And again, exactly what we suspected to be happening with that weekly vertical crossover already in effect and that two-day recross. Now again, we look at the half day, you can see where things were down hugely in the morning, recovered a little bit in the afternoon, still down 0.12%. That price percent oscillator uh, flattened out some after the morning where you had that pull up quite a bit. In the afternoon, at one point I looked and you know, it dipped all the way down to 456.60. So again, a, a big downer in the morning, some recovery in the afternoon. If you, of course, had jumped in on Friday, you may very well have cleared out your profit. And uh, if you went ahead, like we always like to do, and entered your good till canceled sale order, may have popped you out on that practice trade on Monday morning, what do we see with the NASDAQ 100? It was up just barely 0.07%, but look at that strong down candle. Price percent oscillator pulling away from the red signal line. Derivative oscillator moving down on the two-day chart. Again, a big strong down candle forming. Price percent oscillator, derivative oscillator gaining downward momentum. You see on the half day, big down candle in the morning and a bit of a recovery in the afternoon. Nonetheless, on those big charts, still lots and lots of downward pressure. And again, up by the end of the day, 0.07%, so that's seven-tenths of 1%, just barely. Now, let's move on from stocks to bonds. What do we see going on with bonds? We had that weekly vertical crossover going down. As we start the week off, we have a red down candle, price percent oscillator heading down, derivative oscillator heading down for the day. Bonds were up a little bit, 0.25%. What do we see with the two-day chart? First day of this latest two-day candle again, still heading down, derivative oscillator, price percent oscillator, smaller red down candle forming first day of this new week. What about the half day? Down in the morning, a little bit of a recovery up through the half day trend line in the afternoon. Price percent oscillator still negative heading up. Derivative oscillator still negative, losing downward momentum. So again, still lots of downward pressure on bonds too, as well as stocks. What about gold? Gold starting the week off with a red down candle. Price percent oscillator still positive. Uh, just barely, derivative oscillator gaining downward momentum and negative. Now again, 
Gold was up 0.30% for the day. Look at the two-day. Not enough energy to cross over going down, so it's still positive. That solid green candle means a slowdown in the down movement. But again, you see that the two-day is just not quite crossing over yet. What would we like to see happen? Well, since the weekly is still in a confirmed up move, as is the two-day, we'd love to see a bounce off the red signal line and it heading up strongly, but don't know that that's going to happen. We look at how there was super downward pressure on gold with that big, big drop on Thursday, a little bit of a recovery on Friday, a little bit of a recovery on Monday. We shall see if we see this half day again the price percent oscillator is still negative and flat. Derivative oscillator is negative, losing downward momentum. But if we see things shoot up in the price of gold, maybe we could have that crossover and that bounce over on the two-day. So we'll wait, watch, and see where things are going in gold. And back to the weekly. Lastly, we go to Bitcoin. Bitcoin end of the day down only 1%. But a solid red down candle is forming. First day of this latest weekly candle. Price percent oscillator heading down. Derivative oscillator heading down. Lots of downward pressure on that weekly. Two-day, big down candle forming. First day of the latest two-day candle. Price moving down on the price percent oscillator. Derivative oscillator gaining downward momentum. So lots of heavy pressure on those big charts. Half-day chart, you can see again where things were you know, just again, consistently moving down. Price percent oscillator heading down. Derivative oscillator about flat, but nonetheless, lots of downward pressure. Pretty much, you know, everywhere we're going except for, except for gold. So we'll continue to watch, wait and see how this market continues to develop. Lots of downward pressure in stocks, downward pressure in bonds. Lots of downward pressure in Bitcoin. Maybe gold will be the shining spot. Don't know. We'll wait. We'll see. Thank you so much for being with us, friends. All the best. God bless from the whole team at Charting Wealth, World Headquarters.